Welcome to Touch Technology Review. My name is John and today I'm gonna to be taking you through the process of creating a green screen video using iMovie. If you haven't got it already, head over to the iTunes store. It's free, download it, and I'm gonna show you how to cut out green backgrounds or blue backgrounds for that matter using a green screen effect. Now, on the topic of creating your green screen video, I just wanted to mention the difference between using green or blue or any other color for that matter. Now, blue and green are the two most popular colors for creating a key. And the reason being is that we don't have these naturally appearing in our skin tone. So they're the best ones to use in general. Why would you choose green over blue or vice versa? Well, it depends on what colors you have in the foreground. So if I was choosing to wear a green top, it wouldn't be wise to use a green background as when I'm performing the key, as well as cutting out the green background, I'll be cutting out the green in the foreground. And as you can imagine, that's gonna look rather odd. So in that case, I would have chosen a blue background. Now, if I was wearing blue, of course, green is gonna be suitable. And wearing neutral colors as I am today means I can choose either blue or green or pretty much any other color if I wish to do so. So that's the basics of your color selection. And secondly, you'll need to consider some lighting. Now, if you have a very well lit room, you might be able to get away with just the natural light coming in from the window if you position your setup according to the way the lighting is coming in. However, you're probably gonna get better results if you can place a couple of lights in front of you to the left and right, and also additional lights just lighting up the background. You'll need to play around with the lighting setup in order to produce the most even lighting on the subject and the background, and try and minimize the shadows that are falling from the subject onto the background to get the best result. So that's my few tips on how to set up your green screen studio. And then once you've done that and recorded your footage, you're pretty much ready to go ahead and take a look at how to edit out the color in iMovie using a very simple green screen effect. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do that. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new project in iMovie. We go to the projects tab, which is the one in the center, and we'll click on the large plus button to create our new project and we'll select the movie option. And the next thing we need to do is import all of our video and audio media for the project. You can do this in a couple of ways. You can just drag your media into the media section, or you can click on the import media arrow and navigate to your hard drive that contains the video and import it that way. So I've just imported the video footage that you saw earlier on that I shot behind a green screen and also some looping backgrounds, which I got from a royalty-free video website. And if you're interested in those backgrounds, I'll leave a link to where you can get them in the description box below, along with some other suggestions where you can get more background loops for green screen. Some of these are free and some of these are paid options. So go ahead and check some of those out if you're interested. Now, the first thing you need to do is place your background layer on the timeline. So I'm going to select one of these clips for now. I'm going to use multiple clips for this demonstration, but I'll select my first one and just drag it directly from the media browser onto the iMovie timeline. The next step is to drag the green screen footage itself down onto the timeline and position it just above that background layer. So you should see two clips, one on top of the other. Of course, you need your background layer on the bottom layer and you'll need your green screen footage to be positioned on the top layer. And now we're ready to apply either our green screen or blue screen key. And all we need to do is make sure that we're tapping on the green screen footage on the timeline so that it's active. And you can tell that it's active because you'll see a yellow border around the clip. So make sure we have selected the top layer. And then you'll see above the video preview window, the first box in the submenu is called Video Overlay Settings. We're gonna tap on that, and then we have a few options in the drop-down menu on the left. There is Cutaway, Green, Blue Screen, Split Screen, and Picture in Picture. And for today, obviously, we're talking about how to key out footage. So we're going to select the Green and Blue Screen option. And automatically, your green screen key has been applied. Now it isn't quite perfect yet. And as you can see, there's some gray foggy areas on the left-hand side. 
and the right hand side of the frame. And these have come into play because of the uneven lighting on the background. So when I shot my footage, I didn't spend a lot of time adjusting the lighting to even out the green screen perfectly because I knew that when it came time to explain this in the tutorial, I can show you how we can perfect the key despite having imperfect lighting. And let's face it, most of us are gonna find it very challenging to create ideal and perfect lighting situations in small home-based studios. So all you have to do in order to clean up this key is select the eraser tool in the cleanup area and just tap on the areas where the green screen hasn't been applied effectively. And you'll see that they'll quickly be removed. And now we have a perfect key generated very quickly and very easily within iMovie. If you find that the key isn't quite perfect, you can try adjusting the softness setting for a more aggressive or less aggressive key. And visually you can judge which setting is gonna be best for you. Also, if you have other elements in the background, if you weren't able to shoot just the green screen, you've got furniture, for example, or light stands that are in the actual frame, you can use the square cutout tool to actually cut those elements out so you don't have to worry about them in the footage. So that's also an option. So there you have it, an incredibly easy way to create green screen using iMovie. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this information useful. Keep in mind that iMovie being free software is first of all limited in some of the functionality that it provides you and also designed to be as simple and easy to use as possible. So you don't have advanced settings to really work on your color key and refine it to the extent that you could using more expensive software such as Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere Pro CC. So if you're after a more comprehensive approach, more perfection in the green screen, then you might need to consider one of those professional editing packages. I've actually completed some tutorials uh, on these other software titles and I'll leave a link to them in the description box below. If you've got any comments or questions about what you've seen today or any suggestions for future content, feel free to put those in the comments box below. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye for now. For those of you looking to do this green screen effect on your mobile devices, on your iPhone or iPad, unfortunately, Apple have not implemented the green screen effect on the iOS version of iMovie. So right now, the only choice you have to do the green screen using iMovie is by using the OS X version. I think this might change in the future. We might see an update to iMovie that would allow us to also do green screen on the iOS version. But for now, stick to iMovie for the desktop. If you don't have a desktop computer, you only have an iPhone or iPad, you're gonna have to go to the iTunes store and search up some apps that do green screen video. I haven't come across anything that's worthy on the iTunes store as yet, so I haven't produced a video on that topic. But if I do find anything, I'll be sure to release a video on it in the not too distant future. Thanks for watching, see you on the next one.